Well, good morning from day two at the Festival of Media here in the beautiful Montreux. I'm Richard Dunwell from Microsoft Advertising. And I'm here with Kurt Hecht, the uh, CEO of uh, Viviki Nerve Center. Good morning, Kurt. Good morning. Um, so my first question for you, Kurt, is um, lots of talk about creativity over the last couple of days. Where do you get your creative inspiration? Uh, from a, you know, a couple of different sources. I would say my team. I've got you know, the, the group of people that work in the Nerve Center are incredibly passionate about what they do. I think when we created the Nerve Center, it gave an outlet for uh, a lot of talent that may have considered to go and work in a startup or considered going to work for a Google or a Facebook where um, we've given them kind of the, the liberty and allowed them to build a business internally where they can really think about what the role of technology is for marketing and with marketing and, and how we support our brand agencies. So um, what we found is we have unbelievable retention, probably um, one of the best retention rates in the industry, certainly within uh, Publicis Group. And these guys and, and, and the team, are, they're just really inspired. So you know, it's a constant buzz every day that comes in from the Nerve Center team on um, what they'd like to explore, what they'd like to do next, and kind of as a manager, uh, for me, the, the most important thing is um, focus, but inspiration, you know, they, they have in, in spades. And so I think that's been great. And then at home, um, you know, my eight-year-old daughter has, she's a t total tech geek. I mean, she is unbelievable. We, um, you know, she, she's constantly communicating and, you know, wanting to play with gadgets and my phones and, and whatnot. So kind of seeing that consumer uh, you know, my, my own daughter kind of respond to technology and the impact that it's having on her life, um, as well as my own team. And then my wife, who is completely anti-technology, right? I mean, she will throw those devices out the window, and I see how a, a normal um, kind of everyday person can struggle with technology. Mm -hmm. And when I see her kind of ask me questions, I kind of project that out on the universe, the people as a whole and say like, how are we gonna solve for my daughter who just, it's innate and it comes to her very easily, and then my wife who um, can have difficult times with you know, very basic things. So, but at the same time, she loves the fact that she can sling her programming um, from our television in Chicago to Paris. Like that part she, she appreciates. That's just pretty Just to wonder cool. how it works. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, that relates to the second question I have for you. So one of the other big themes is um, around this connected, connected society um, and always on sort of society that right. we live in today. How do you think about that balance between, between work, life, and play, given that we live in that connected world? I, it's completely blurred, which uh, I actually appreciate and you know, don't have a problem with. I mean, when I look at my phone today, uh, there's kind of three buttons I push for you know, instant communication. So uh, there's obviously the corporate email, there's Twitter, you know, there's Facebook, there's my you know, personal email accounts. and they just kind of all toggle in between and it's kind of um, a dashboard really for you know my connections in life and they're all kind of intertwined at this point which um, honestly uh, you know it doesn't bother me I don't mind doing a little bit of work on Saturday or Sunday but I also don't mind you know going out for a long bike ride if I can on a Friday afternoon my feeling is it kind of all balances out and uh, if you're passionate about your friends your job um, your, your personal interests uh, you, you'll find yourself in, you'll find a natural balance. So that's kind of how I'm rolling these days. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. You have a uh, always on connected Kurt Hecht while he's cycling along, uh, thinking about his eight year old daughter playing with lots of devices. Thank you, Kurt, for being Absolutely. with us today and enjoy the rest of the festival. Thanks Thank so you. much. Thank yeah, you. Appreciate it.